that was the most amazing night. And this guy came up to me and said, how does it feel to be at this party naked? And I went, I don't give a f what any of you, you guys think. Oh my gosh, that dress, well. They start by getting you completely naked. That will go in the time capsule, and that was Bob's idea. You gotta be ready to be noticed if you're wearing Bob Mackey. I saw it in the window and I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> because all the real stars, all the biggest stars, wore Bob Mackey. This native Californian, Mr. Bob Mackey, honed his exquisite sense of glamour and theatricality into an art form. And the clothes of Bob Mackie were very much part of what I absorbed as visual beauty. You can't just show up. You gotta show off. So I knew what I needed to do. Big hair and get a Bob Mackie. People were horrified. What? That's not fashion. When I was on the ship, oh God. When I was on the ship with the sailors. It's like two strips of a seatbelt and a leather jacket. He knows exactly how to dazzle and entertain. I mean, Bob, Bob invented the red carpet, as far as I'm concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, in a word, share. He's the only one who, who does this detail. Was he always embraced, or was he not embraced? Fashion is a little snobby, right? I think time tells truth, right? So, what were you like as a little boy? Were you like fantasizing? I was the and... strangest child you've ever met. They're a little artistic and they're things that you want to do and nobody understands. What does he do? Well, he's a costume designer. Well, he must be gay. That's the first thing you get. I think the movies absolutely formed me as a designer. And I went, oh, this, I could do this. I bet I could do this. You have to think about the mood and the person's talent that's wearing it. Can they wear this? Can they get away with it? And as the time went by, he would have to think up one thing after another. And the other day, he did one of the like great outfits, and we were all ooing and aahing. 